All right. Welcome back, everybody. As you can see, a little bit of a change of scenery here. We're all moved in to Syracuse at the new house, but uh, the streams continue here. We got three to go, starting with this one today against Louisville, a game that Syracuse has to win to keep its bowl eligibility hopes uh, alive. Three and six, one and four in the ACC. So we'll have a bye week before Louisville here. Uh, bye week, Louisville. NC State on the road, and then uh, the finale is a home game against Pittsburgh. So if you look at the ratings, the ratings here, this is a game Syracuse should win, if, if anything, be competitive in. 81 overall each side. The offense favors Louisville. The defense is evenly matched. Louisville lost a lot of talent from last season's team, so they won't be as strong this year on paper. This is a game I have Syracuse winning, so I guess we'll see if they can get the job done here. Be sure to drop your score predictions in the chat, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your other Syracuse friends. Let's get into it. Louisville tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. Here we go. Syracuse going to get the ball first here as they lost the toss. So we'll see Garrett Schrader and the offense come out first. A uh, reminder if you're new here, DeVito got injured a couple games ago and it was a season ending injury. So Schrader is the quarterback by uh, default there. And uh, he's the starter once again this week. First down is going to hand off to Sean Tucker and he gets a healthy 10 yard gain. Up the middle, good start there. The Orange coming off a loss to Boston College, a game that they got absolutely blown out in. You can check out that game if you missed it. And every other stream I've done this season on the playlist, which is on my channel, also tag it here if you're watching the replay. Here's Schrader keeping. Oh, he absolutely burned that defensive back. And another first down for SU. Two plays and 21 yards in total yardage. Great start. I think this is going to be a really uh, highly offensive game. I think first one to 30 is going to win. So it's really just a matter of can SU, you know, push the tempo or are they going to be playing catch up, you know. Schrader throwing underneath here has a receiver and another chunk play to Damian Alford. Pickup of 10. Second and inches. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing from Schrader so far, though. And you're also getting Tucker involved as well. But uh, we've already heard Dino Baber say, you know, in real life here that uh, he plans on playing both quarterbacks. So we'll see how that works in the opener against Ohio. We've kind of... We kind of have experimented with that on this virtual stream, uh, you know, platform, though. You know, between uh, DeVito taking over for Schrader and Schrader taking over for DeVito. Now, that's the case because of the injury. But uh, we've seen both quarterbacks play, and 
really, I don't think either of them have really impressed me that much because they've both been so inconsistent up and down, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, Michael, every game has been offensive. The problem is Syracuse hasn't been able to keep up with it. You know, they scored 20 points, and they just about cap out there. So, if they can score 30 against Louisville, I think they should win the game. And they, obviously, you got to see how the defense does. Louisville runs a pistol offense. Scott Satterfield uh, has installed there with Malik Cunningham, such a prolific quarterback. All right, this controller is annoying me. Really gives uh, defenses problems. Gave SU some issues last season. So we'll see how it goes this year. Oh, a nice strike up the middle to Courtney Jackson. Makes the grab, and he's all the way down to the one. Haven't even been talking about the game, and yet Garrett Schrader's out here having his best drive of the season. Now has to end at a touchdown. As you guys know, Syracuse is notorious for getting into the red zone and then uh, settling for field goals. So let's see what happens right here. Gonna hand off. That's easy work. That's what you should do. Hand off Sean Tucker. Touchdown. SU up 7 zip. Number 17. And a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. All right, so like I was just saying, Malik Cunningham, the Louisville quarterback, very good, very talented. Talked to him at ACC Media Days, ACC kickoff, and, um, you know, really just a talented dual-threat guy. He's just got to limit the mistakes this year through a lot of picks last season. That's kind of what he's working on here. He threw one to Garrett Williams last season, so we'll see if SU can force some turnovers against him today, see what Tony White's 3-3-5 system can do. See what they can do in this series of downs. And this controller, I swear, I gotta get some batteries. Cunningham's looking to throw SU, just a three man blitz, but it gets home eventually. McKinley Williams in the backfield gets the sack. That took forever to develop, but eventually he got in there and made a play on him. All right, so SU's got Louisville behind the sticks here, second and 11. It's where you got to keep them. Last year, absolutely embarrassed the Orange, and that was despite missing a lot of talented players on the roster. Cunningham's going to take off and run here, and he's brought down by Jahad Carter, short of the line to gain, and he's injured. That's not a good sign for the Cardinals fans. So we'll have to see what that injury is looking like in the future here. So Luke McCaffrey will check into the ballgame. The Nebraska transfer, younger brother of Christian McCaffrey. He's a dual threat quarterback as well, and he's going to hand off to Hassan Hull, I believe that is, and he's going to burst forward for the first down easily. i got to get these batteries figured out, though. Check the chat. See if you guys are saying some stuff. Nope. Be sure to drop anything in the chat. We'll discuss it. Your thoughts on the game, the program, the team, any of it. I'll bring it. Oh, that was nearly picked off. Nice stiff arm there by the back. Oh, he fumbled, though. Recovered by the offensive lineman. Hassan Hall doing a little bit too much there. So McCaffrey's still in the game. I think Cunningham's going to be out for maybe a quarter. We should get an injury update pretty soon here, but he's still in. He's 80 overall. He's a redshirt freshman or a sophomore. Got a little bit of time with the Huskers last season, but not a lot. But he does have those great genes, of course. Younger brother of uh, McCaffrey, so... All right, third and seven. Let's see if the Orange can get off the field. They're bringing a blitz. Doesn't get home. He winds up and throws. Out of bounds. Overthrown. SU gets a stop on its opening possession of the ball game. Good sign. Now, if Malik Cunningham's out for a big portion of this game, I don't think there's any way Louisville stays in it or scores 30 points. We'll see, though. I'll check the injury report right after this. Let's take a look right now. 
There you go. There you, we don't even need to. So Cunningham out for the game. He comes in and plays about six plays, takes off on a scramble and gets hurt. So he's done for the game. I think that just about should lock up a Syracuse win as Tucker runs on the Wildcat. I don't know why they do that stupid crap still. But if SU loses this game without Malik Cunningham, Luke McCaffrey's a good player. He's not Malik Cunningham. So SU should win this game, especially now with that injury. And a throw here near sideline, hauled in by Queeley. And it looks like we'll check uh, check on that one real quick. And they will keep the ruling on the field there, as you guys can hear. Catch will stand. Another pitch and catch from Schrader to Queeley. Sorry, I'm just trying to update the Twitter world about this injury. It's pretty big news. If this happens in real life, you know, Louisville's kind of screwed. And there we go. All right, let's get back to it. Yep, Ryan agrees. Appreciate it, buddy. Gosh darn. I don't know. I got no batteries in here. I got to get some new ones, clearly. None of these work. Yeesh. If we have any issues with the stream today, guys, just put it in the chat and I'll fix it. Um, like, you know, like we always do here. Schrader throwing on third and five, and the catch is made by Alford. Move the chains for a first down. You know, I don't want to jinx it. I'm going to knock on wood. They got a nice wood dresser right here. But uh, the offensive line has looked great. There's been almost no pressure in the backfield thus far. And Louisville doesn't have a great front seven to begin with this season. Um, but that's a good sign. Here's Tucker keeping in the Wildcat. And it gets a positive gain. You, you're not going to see this this season. Hey, you um, you're not going to see Tucker in the Wildcat. I literally asked Dino Babers, the Dino Babers, if we'd see Tucker in the Wildcat. And uh, he said no. So, none of those batteries work. You can watch if you want. Yeah, I'm, I got oh, okay. Our roommate uh, checking in, provide me with the batteries. Appreciate it, Jake. It's big. We'll have to see this stupid uh, message. All right, here we go. Third and one. SU's going five wide. Not a big fan of that. Looks like they're setting up a screen. It's not there. Schrader will take off, and he's sacked. See, if I'm an offensive coordinator... I'm never running five wide on third and one, unless I plan on running a draw. But even then, you got a, uh, a Doak Walker Award finalist, preseason uh, award watch list member, I should say, and Sean Tucker. You don't think he can get you one yard on third down? You have to go five wide? No, you don't. So, obviously, they wouldn't do that in real life. I, don't, I hope not, at least. I'm sure we've seen it before. But uh, bad call by Sterling Gilbert, virtual Sterling Gilbert and Dino Babers there. And Schmidt sends it into the... Oh, nearly. Nearly had a nice bounce there. Almost all the punts in this game just roll into the end zone. It's kind of broken, but no biggie. SU defense back on the field. Like I said before, no Malik Cunningham for Louisville now, so McCaffrey's going to get a bulk of the action today. And, you know, he's good, but like I said, he's no Malik Cunningham. So I'm going to come out and throw here. Oh, my gosh. Marshawn Ford just killed a man. Make that Dez Melton, excuse me, their backup tight end. They got a couple of nice tight ends there. Marshawn Ford, 13 career touchdowns. Huge red zone threat. What they don't have are wide receivers. They got to find some of those this year. I, full disclosure, I have Louisville going 2-10. and 10, And I think winless in the ACC. I just don't see the wins on the schedule for them. So, and SU's going to get a win against them. Virtually, and I think in real life as well. Uh, handoff for, for Hassan Hall. What they lack in receivers, though, they have in running backs. Hall's one of them. They're two, three deep there. I feel like they got a good back every single season. He had 500 some odd yards in 2019. Was expected to have a breakout season last year. Didn't really happen, but you know, with uh, JV and Hawkins off to the NFL, he should get that, uh, you know, that production this season. McCaffrey's leading the drive right now. Got to give him a little bit of respect there. Three for four, 35 yards.
And like I said, if you're just joining, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel as well. Welcome. If you want to watch any previous streams, I have a whole playlist on my YouTube channel. If you're watching the replay, I'll tag it. Uh, at some point in this video, just hit the info button up here and you'll uh, get right to it. Here's McCaffrey running right into Jason Simmons Jr., the New Mexico State transfer. And that's a loss of four yards. He's been a godsend virtually to this team, perhaps in real life as well. Figures to play that rover position. He played that as, uh, as an Aggie at New Mexico State. And with Cisco gone, Rob Hanna's there. But, you know, he can provide some depth, maybe even take that starting job. We'll see. Speed option left side. Thompson hits him. Hall has a ton of running room down the sideline. And he's finally brought down by Garrett Williams at the 10. But a 31-yard run for Louisville coming off that bad negative yardage play and if not for Garrett Williams there that's a touchdown you can't, you can't lose contain like that in the outside if you're SU defensively so Louisville into the red zone for the first time today chance to get on the board tie the game see if SU can get a stop gonna run on first down straight ahead and still pushing the pile all the way into the end zone are you kidding me Maurice Berkeley Louisville's power back I mean you literally saw it right there Pushing the pile into the end zone. Look at this. Just dragging. One, two, three Syracuse defenders into the end zone. And the Cardinals tie it up. And he converts the extra point. A six play, 80 yard drive. And it results in a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Up the middle for a nice game. All right, so let's see what SU can do on the offensive side. They've had a couple of good drives. The last one stalled, obviously, but they've been moving the ball. Let's see if they can get back to the scoring way. Second and five, Louisville stack in the box. Schrader keeps triple option, has the pitch man, gives it to Tucker, and he is blown up near the line of, uh, excuse me, the line to gain. So third and inches. You'd like to see Tucker maybe make a miss there. I mean, there were two guys, but third and inches, no less. I'm expecting it to go right back to Tucker. At least I hope it goes back to Tucker. I don't want another five-wide set, you know, tunnel screen that's not there. Schrader taking off and getting sacked. We've seen that far too many times this season. A little sick of it. Uh, Schrader going to keep on a read option. There's the first down. See, I like that. Why not even do that? I don't mind that at all. You got a dual-threat quarterback in Schrader. You may as well use him by design. So SU continues to move the ball, like I said, near midfield, putting a drive together. Coming out with... Trips left. We're going to pass. Good pass protection. Schrader gets it away to Tucker. That's a smart play. Check it right down. He's open. Just get a couple of yards. That's not bad at all. And still, the pass protection has been good. I don't think uh, Louisville has a single sack thus far, so that's always good. All right, tight bunch right. Got Benson in there. And Queeley near side. Schrader passing. He's going to take off. All right, that is, uh, that's on Schrader. We've seen that time and time again this season. There's good pass protection. Service has him blocked. Look at this. And he just she just runs right into him. There's no reason to do that. And he does it every game. Kid never learns. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Uh, it's like watching The Office for the eighth time, you know? It's the same thing. All right, tight slots, third and 12. Definitely got to be a pass. Yep. Shucker, uh, Tucker in to protect, excuse me, and Schrader off with the throw. Threw it right in between two receivers, both of which were open. But uh, hits the turf. Schmidt back onto the field to punt. Maybe he can pin him deep with this one. Gets a good boot on it. It will bounce at the 7 and still go into the end zone. Man, I figured, well, the last time it was really close, it was... Closer to uh, midfield, the punt. So I figured that one might bounce inside the 10 and sit in there, but nope. All right, so, uh, you know, the, the Cunningham injury it really hasn't made much of an impact thus far. Louisville still came down and scored on the last drive, really using that rug game to their advantage. They do it again right here and get four. 
And SU on the offensive end is stalled. Starting to see Schrader make those uh, same mistakes he was, you know, he's been making the past few weeks. Under a minute to go in the first quarter. And McCaffrey's going to throw. Moving up in the pocket. Steps up and runs right into Marlow Wax. And that's a sack for the sophomore linebacker. That's a coverage sack, as we call it. Looks like Wax was the spy. Recognized McCaffrey. Had nowhere to go. He's taking off the run. Comes downhill, makes the play. That's textbook. From their own 23 -yard line. Oh, I picked him as a breakout defensive player this season for plays like that. All right, third and seven. Pistol look from Louisville. Going to pass. Max protection. McCaffrey looking. Throws, and it's caught in triple coverage over there. And through the contact as well. That was an impressive snag. So, yeah, Deuce Chestnut underneath. He came back, got a good lick on him, but uh, Harrell here able to hold on through the contact, and then Neil Nunn there as well. You like to see him rip that thing out of there. That's that's just a good play. You got to tip your cap. Uh, likely the last play of the first quarter right here. And handoff right up the middle, but uh, denying that is Stephon Thompson in the backfield immediately and getting his second tackle for loss of the ball game. Hassan Hall on the run there, and just a free rusher through that B gap. And that is the end of the first quarter. Seven to seven the score. Started off good for SU, both uh, you know, on both sides of the ball. Cunningham's done for the game. We'll see. Yeah, that's a that's a you know continuing to be a developing storyline here. Uh, but SU's got to get things going again offensively. Can't be taking those sacks like Schrader has been. Alright, let's go. You already got him behind schedule here. Handoff Hall, and right there's Wax. He breaks his tackle, breaks the tackle from another SU player, Jahat Carter, and Adrian Cole finishes it off his fifth tackle of the ball game. Look at that. One, two, and then uh, SU had three or four more guys running to the football. That's well done. So third and 19, SU has struggled in these third and long situ situations on the defensive side, especially with the zone coverages. Let's go. Lock it down. Screen pass. Trying to set up the tunnel screen. It's not there. That's a sack for SU. Cody Roscoe gets the tackle. Reserve defensive lineman in there. I don't know why he's number 18. That's definitely not his number. That's why it's throwing me off a little bit. He's in the 90s or something, but I had to switch the numbers up. No less, a sack for SU. Great starting field position. Much better job by the defense there. And Harris deep to return. Makes the grab at the 38. And gets up to the 48. Well, Schrader and company will take over. Great starting field position. Need about 30 yards to get into field goal range. Need some points on this drive here. All right, here we go. Put Benson in motion. And a play action pass. Looks like it's a fake screen wheel, but Schrader's going to tuck it and go and has a lot of room up the middle. See, that's good. That's good. When he scrambles, I want him going up the middle, not running around service, because every time that happens, he gets sacked. Look at that. Open running room, linebackers just sitting there, go. Why not? <laughs> All right, so just like that, inside the Louisville 40-yard line, and Tucker on in the Wildcat. Again, not going to happen in real life here. But uh, SU did score one touchdown on it, so you kind of just got to let it happen. I hate how they do that. That and those stupid triple options out of the uh, five wides. All right. Schrader throwing, has a receiver. It's Jackson. He holds on to that ginormous hit along the near sideline. His third catch of the day, 50 yards for the slot receiver, poised for a breakout season. Virtually, he has broken out, but in real life, he still has to break out, you know? All right, going five wide, knocking on the doorstep of the, the red zone. We're going to pass here. Good pass protection. Schrader throws. Cut over the middle. Anthony Queeley. Think of just four. So now you're inside the red zone. Second time today. How are you going to finish it? Another five wide set. Look out for some motion here. Yep, there it is. 
Going to give it to Alford on the jet sweep. Has the blocks far side. Got to beat the safety. Stiff arms him. And picks up three yards. Wish he was a little bit faster. Although, I don't think he'd be getting jet sweeps in a real game scenario. It'd be uh, well, probably Courtney Jackson, if anybody. Or Trevor Pena. Uh, third and three, Schrader throwing. Gets it off just before the blitz gets home. And he finds Javante Williams. And he's all the way down inside the two-yard line with a 13-yard snag. SU just six feet away from taking the lead and scoring another touchdown in the red zone. Handoff. Tucker has a hole, and he's denied at the one. Looked like he missed the hole, honestly. He had some room up the middle there in the A-gap, but decided to bounce it outside and was cut down by that safety in the process. So second and goal from the one. Louisville stacking the box. Schrader going under center. Power run right side. Elmore the block. But again, Tucker is denied off the edge. No yards on the play. So third and goal. So SU's coming out four wide. Louisville showing blitz. Tucker the back. Schrader hands off Tucker up the middle. And he fights through a tackle into the end zone. Syracuse takes the lead. been too much daylight between these two teams in games like this some players try to press too much and that can cause mistakes takes a hand off tackled for a loss he knew it was a run all the way got a good jump once he got there he wasn't about to let him slip away either so it's second and 14 ball on the 25 All right, as expected, SU hanging around here, really um, pushing the tempo. Like I said, they have to do a nice tackle by Mikael Jones right there. What I mean by setting the tempo is scoring and setting the lead and making Louisville come back and respond. You know what I mean? Seems like all year it's been SU not in the driver's seat, instead in the passenger seat. And they've been having to, you know, keep up with what's going on. McCaffrey throwing and the catch is made on third and 11. SU sent the blitz, but Louisville really countered that well. Jonathan almost got in there for the sack, but Marshall, another clutch grab. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 47. Oh, you know what? Someone just brought it to my attention, actually, that Luke McCaffrey plays for Rice. And uh, he is right. I totally forgot about that. He transferred over there. Um... Did not think about that. So we might have to put the uh, third stringer in after hearing that. We will take care of that after this drive. Interesting. It's hard to keep up with all of it, you know, especially in today's, age, today's uh, day and age of college football. Dudes are transferring left and right, you know. Nice play over there. I don't know why he transferred out, really. I mean, Cunningham's probably gone after this season, and he'd be the starter, but whatever. I'll take him out next drive and put the uh, third stringer in. He should be on the team. I guess I'll double-check right now. <laughs> but uh, the Cardinals putting together a drive here. Got a tight bunch left side, third and eight. Can SU get off the field? McCaffrey steps up, throws, and that one's nearly picked off. By uh, Chase Atkinson? It didn't look like it was Chase Atkinson, but incomplete no less. Fourth down, and Louisville will bring the kicker on for a 48-yard field goal. See if he's got the leg for it. Looks good to me, and it is. So the Cardinals tack on a field goal, cut the SU lead down to four. About five and change to go in the half. 
Let me check on this quarterback situation, though. All right, so the backup is Evan Conley, so I'll be sure to put him in. Yeah, no, I um, I read that McCaffrey. Whoa! Whoa! That is not good. What the heck happened there? So Harris tried to leap over a tackler, and every time you do that in this game, you're pretty much always going to fumble. And that's exactly what happened there. That uh, is a bad turnover. That is a bad turnover. Let me get this Louisville quarterback situation figured out, though. Let me get back, uh, back to it here. All right, Conley in for McCaffrey. All right, do it after this play. Yeah, I mean, in, Louisville's not even going to have Luke McCaffrey, and I'm sure he's way better than this Conley guy. So if Cunningham gets injured like he did today in this game, they're really screwed. Nice play there off the edge. Neil Nunn, another breakout candidate of mine on the defensive end at corner. All right, let's get this fixed up here. Appreciate uh, if the guy's watching it. It was a Twitter reply. So, um, yeah, that was helpful. All right, let's get Conley in there. And we will keep it pushing here. Apologies for the delay and uh, the mess up there. Like I said, though, you know, dudes be transferring left and right. It's hard to keep up with all of them. All right, here is Conley looking to throw, and that was not a good throw. That um, is probably going to be a look into what we're going to see. Yeah, restart the whole season. That's right, Peter. For sure, you know. Yeah, he's uh, 73 overall. Not very good, like he, like you're talking about, Ryan. So, Third and 14. Let's see if we can make a throw. Got max protection all day to throw. Oh, no, he doesn't. Coming off the right edge was Josh Black. And he gets the sack. I'm not in the game, dude. I don't know why you keep asking me uh, to uh, do this. I'm not in the game. There you go. I'm not in. There you go. All right. He's probably going to get a touchback here on this punt. Yeah, no, I'm not restarting the season, guys. The real season starts in about... Oh, it's a fake! Hold on. Timeout. That was interesting. Pretty good throw. It was there. He just couldn't get it there. So Louisville goes with the fake, and now Syracuse lost great starting field position off of that with 4.16 to go in the second. I'm not restarting the season, though. Uh, you know, the real season starts in about a week, and uh, you got to get... You know, I'm settling into college. Right now, yeah, so come on now. All right, Schrader keeping on first down. Gets a little bit, but not much. Actually loses two. Um, but if you're just joining the stream here, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to watch any previous Syracuse football streams or anybody Syracuse will play this season, they're all in the playlist. You can find that on my channel. All right, second and 12. Draw for Tucker. Has a lot of running room, and he picks up a nice chunk. Gets eight on that one, so third down and four. Manageable conversion for SU. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Yeah, no, Michael, we're on the same page. I just reread what you said. I'm um, what you said. I'm saying, all right. Five wide, third and four. Schrader looking to throw. Just a three-man rush for Louisville, and he has Courtney Jackson far side for the first down. Picks up ten inside Louisville's forty-yard line. It's the best Syracuse has looked on both sides of the ball in a while. And I guess, you know, that injury aids in that. But Yeah, no, Peter, I don't think SU will end up being an underdog when the game actually starts. You know, these lines, nice pass near sideline. Queerly all the way down to the one. Let's go. Tight window. Um, I think by the time the game actually kicks off, Syracuse will be favored and the line will be even. Uh, it's basically just a money line pick. But if you guys want to win some free money, I think Syracuse plus one is bank. Money in the bank. Um, I don't know why they're an underdog in the first place. I mean, Ohio's good, but should be favored. So, All right, first and goal. 
Shotgun, Benson the tight end, right side. And speed option left. Schrader had Tucker to pitch to, but he kept it. And he loses three yards. Dumb play call, in my opinion. All right, same play right here. Pitch out to Tucker, and he's denied off the left edge. Loses two more. So SU goes from first and goal from the one to third and goal from the seven. On two uh, speed options that go for negative yardage. So now third and goal from the six. Probably looking at a pass here. Tight slots. And a draw for Tucker up the middle, and he gets maybe one. Brings up fourth and goal. Louisville gets a big stop in the red zone. And SU will settle for a chip shot field goal here. That's a loss right there, really. That's a win for Louisville, a loss for Syracuse. Chance to go up two possessions near halftime. And you were at the one-yard line. You kind of spoiled it there. But points are points. So now you need your defense to come in, get the stop, go to halftime with the lead. Louisville gets the ball to start the second half. But... Uh, I don't think they're going to be moving the ball really at all unless it's with the run game with this backup quarterback. He's just not good. Alright, going to hand off on first down for Hall. Like I said, you know, it's going to be with the running game and he breaks a tackle all the way up to the 40-yard line. Hassan Hall is going to keep Louisville in this game if they're going to stay in it today. Got to make that tackle if you're hot card. First and ten. Ball on the 41. <sighs> All right, another handoff. Going to get a healthy dose of Hall. And SU should know that because they know the quarterback's just trash. He gets 12 more up the middle. Just like that, inside SU's uh, side of the 50-yard line there. You know they're going to run the football. Why aren't you stacking the box? Why aren't you blitzing? Another run and more running room. Five more yards, and Louisville calls a timeout. Come on, yo. Tony White's got to be sending these blitzes, putting seven and eight in the box. Make him beat you with the pass. You're not a good quarterback. He's going to pass right here. SU showing his zone, and that's what I'm saying. Make him beat you with his arm. He can't. All right, third and five, going to pass again. Blitz almost gets home. That one is almost picked off again. Jahad Carter in the coverage. That could have been a pick six. And Conley's 0 for 3. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Michael. Stop playing deep. Press coverage. Load the Another fake? Are you kidding me? And they don't get that one either. I've never seen two fakes in the same game from the CPU. That is insane. <laughs> in a game that's this close you can't afford to waste possessions Syracuse is up by a touchdown alright wing formation to start screen pass throw it he's open nice not a good start guys I mean you got the 7 point lead I'd probably just take this to halftime I don't think Louisville's going to score a touchdown the rest of the game Another screen, and this time he does get it away. Tucker, a little bit of space over there, not much. You, you called the same play twice in a row, and they both went for a gain of negative 12 yards. So, nice call. So, third and 22, tight slots. Schrader throws underneath to Jackson, and he gets a healthy gain, 18 yards. But a quick three and out from Syracuse will have to punt it back. And Schmidt sends another one through the back of the end zone. So 121, same situation. Louisville has no uh, timeouts, though. So keep that in mind. I'm feeling a turnover here, though. Had two good opportunities at him. They're going conservative clock, so probably just going to be a lot of runs. And Hall breaks another tackle. Oh, not that one, though. Thompson 
lays him down. They're going to go hurry up. Not really sure what Louisville's looking to do here. They're going conservative clock, but they're also going tempo. So, I don't know. Conley near side. That was a dime. 22 yards in, in, uh, in between the two zone defenders there. Make him do that, you know, the whole game, though. That's, you know, he can make that throw once. See if he can do it again. Minute and four. He got out of bounds to stop the clock. Going to pass again. Far sideline. Catch made. Pick up a five. So a little over a minute to go till halftime here. We will putting together a drive into SU territory. Going to drop back to pass again. Got to get home if you're the blitzer. Oh, another throw and another catch made along the sideline. That stops the clock again. You know, he's looked pretty bad in the short time that he's played, but this one's uh, this two-minute drill has been good. He's understanding where to throw the ball and doing good with clock management so far. All it takes is a sack to end that. And he throws a pick instead. This one's got to go back for six. Chase Atkinson jumps it. Just got to beat Conley to the end zone, and he will. Chase Atkinson to the house. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. That was a heck of a play by Atkinson. Hey, what did I tell you guys? I felt the turnover coming. I don't know. Sometimes you just see him coming. All right, 10 seconds to go. Louisville's just going to go into halftime now. I mean, that really uh, swung. They had a chance to tie the game up. They were, on it. They were putting a drive together. And then all of a sudden, Conley throws it right to Atkinson. He takes it back for a score. And SU's got a two-touchdown lead now going into the half. Looking uh, very impressive. Very impressive, as they should. Expected Syracuse to win this game coming in. It looks like they're well on the way to doing that. He's got two more quarters to play. In the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show, presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Good thing we have these spectacular 1080p high definition monitors in here. All the better to see these offenses execute with precision in the first half. Yeah, I, we, I like having the old school black and white TVs too that show, that show a little bit of defense occasionally. But yeah, offensive plethora. I mean, you want to see uh, how to dial up a clinic on how to play offense? You saw it on both sides in the first half. I'm not. I'm not sure that there was much resistance, but it's always fun to be able to dial a play up and know that it's going to work. And every single time you go, hey, this place money, this place money, this place money, and you saw it. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, hey, look, wait. Don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk takes the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Syracuse, the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Off to the left and they wrestle him down behind the line. That's a great play by the defense. Alright, so we begin the second half here. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate if you guys do those two things. It's a stream number 10 of the season. Uh, of course, we're going to do 11 and 12, NC State and uh, Pittsburgh. And then if SU wins all three of these last couple games, we'll do a bowl game as well. 
Had to win this one. They're on their way to doing so here. Of course, got to win the other two, though. But got to get this win first. Not over yet. Third and 11. SU, an impressive start to this drive. Black almost got in there for the sack. Instead, Conley loads up and delivers a strike over the middle. Caught by Tyler Harrell. And uh, that moves the chains and then some. Looks like he just burned Adrian Cole in the one-on-one -on -one coverage there. It's first down and ten now after picking up some great yardage through the air. All right, speed option, right side, gets the pitch off. Hall has the edge, and he's brought down. He's looked really good. I like Hassan Hall. His problem is he has no receivers to help him out. So I think Louisville's going to really lean on that ground game this year between Cunningham and Hall. And then, you know, they got Marshawn Ford at tight end. He's a known commodity. But if they had uh, Dez Fitzpatrick 2 2 out, well, Louisville, top 15 team. You could book that. Um, a nice play by Jeff Kenton, our coup off the edge. Um, with the speed option again, but, you know, he's seen that play enough today. And yeah, makes the play. Third and eight. Louisville, four for nine on third downs today. If you're SU, I think you got to send the blitz here and get in there. They don't do that. They rush three and play zone behind, but it doesn't matter. Conley with another nice pass and Louisville another conversion. Now, Brandon Smith is their one returning wide receiver that has some kind of a pulse. He'll be good. He's their wide receiver one. But uh, aside from that, not many options. Proven options, I'll say. They have options, but not proven. Uh, handoff far side for... Hall again, is that? I can't really tell. Nope, Berkeley. He's got a touchdown today, and he's got 17 yards right there. Very well blocked all around by the Cardinals' offensive line. And Louisville just seven yards away from cutting this deficit in half. All right, two tight ends set. Pistol, two wideouts far side. Going to pass. Conley's looking and looking. He's got all day to throw. Winds up and fires out of the back of the end zone. Good coverage by SU. He had all day back there to go through his progressions, but nobody came open. Now second and goal from the seven. Need a no yardage or negative play here, and that's exact. Nope. Hall breaks Simmons tackle, walks out of another, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. So many missed tackles today. It's really what's plagued SU. It's what's keeping Louisville in the game, and that's another example right there. Are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Syracuse is up seven. Like I said, uh, first one to 30 is going to win this game, so Syracuse can do that right here. Pretty nice start getting some positive recruitment. Uh, excuse me. Uh, positive yardage. I just read a tweet from somebody talking about his recruitment. That happens sometimes. Second and goal, handoff, Tucker on the draw, runs over a Louisville defender and another, and gets eight yards on the first down. Powerful run by the sophomore. <sighs> Got to keep it moving. You keep scoring, I don't think Louisville's going to be able to keep up. Not without Cunningham. Schrader throws a dot over the middle, and Harris drops it through the contact. Really uh, haven't heard much from Taj Harris today. Had a chance to change that right there, and he didn't. Well, it might go back to him right here. Second and goal, four wide out set. Excuse me, second and ten, four wide out set. Handoff, Tucker runs right into the Louisville defender off the edge there. Unblocked. Loss of four. And I'm not sure if uh, Dakota Davis just missed that block, or... I don't really know what the deal was there. Either way, negative play, third and 14, five wide set. Schrader looking to pass. Louisville brings the blitz, and they hit him up behind it, but Javante Williams is cut down just one yard short of the first down marker. And SU will have to punt here. So Louisville...
defensively, they're keeping in, keeping themselves in it. Oh, excellent punt. Schmidt with the punt, and that one rolls into the end zone as well. Same old. All right, so really, I mean, Syracuse should be winning this game easily, but, you know, Louisville's not going away. They're continuing to run the ball with success, and SU is killing itself with missed tackles and negative plays. Conley throws, and that one's broken up. Impressive play in the open field by Garrett Williams, the freshman All-American. SU stacking the box here against the jumbo package of Louisville. They're going to go counter far side, and it is blown up by Jason Simmons. What a play off the edge by the Viper. Excuse me, the Rover. <laughs> Viper. Same deal, though. So third and 16, that was a heck of a play. There's no way they can convert this first down. you got to send the blitz here. And they do. They're bringing five, maybe six, man-to-man -man coverage behind. And Cole makes the tackle in the open space. Woo! Got 15 yards there, but needed 16 for the first down. They didn't get it. So just like SU had to do on the last drive, Louisville will punt on fourth and one. I think at least. You know, they've gone two fakes today. They don't this time. That's a pretty good punt. It looked like a shank, but it wasn't. Harris makes the grab, jukes out a gunner, and he's all the way up to midfield. So great starting field position for Schrader and company. Chance to put the game away potentially with a scoring drive here. And they're going to start with a stupid Wildcat. Oh, my God. I don't know why. It's just it's, it's, it's annoying. Like I said, not going to happen in real life. <sighs> Still a video game at the end of the day, you know. Second down, 10 yards to go. All right, second and 10, straight around the field like it should have been on first down, but whatever. Going to keep it on a read option, has some running room. Oh, who swerves by the safety, and he's tripped up at the 30-yard line, gain of 20 yards. Look at the Mississippi State transfer go. All right, five and change to go in the third. SU at Louisville's 30-yard line. Promising start to this drive. Benson in motion. Going to pass here. Good protection. Throw underneath. Wide open is Tucker in the flat. Runs through a tackler and picks up 10. I love it. I love it. Check the ball down if you need to. And just like that, Syracuse into the red zone again. Last time down, though, they, uh, they got down to the 1 and had to settle for a field goal. So... Let's hope it, uh, hope it ends better this time. Not a good start, though. Trying to go off-tackle run. And Tucker brought down in the backfield by Marvin Dallas. Yeah, what's crazy is Louisville actually is winning the yardage battle. Maybe because SU's had such good starting field position itself. but So losing the game. Uh, run up the middle for Abdul Adams. And he's brought down after 14 yards. Explosive run. By the backup tailback. And SU picks up the first down, gets those negative yards back, and is inside the 10 yard line. And they'll keep Adams in the game in the Wildcat. Not liking it. We'll see though. Handoff's going to go to Jackson off the left side, and he's brought down after a gain of one. So, second and goal. You know what? Just keep it simple. I don't want the fancy stuff here. You score a touchdown here, you win the game. It's that simple. Louisville's not scoring two touchdowns. Schrader back in. Adams still the tailback. They're going to give it to him, and he runs up the middle and into the end zone for the touchdown. SU extends its lead. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Conley thrown on first and ten. Catch made. Chunk yardage for Marshall. 
Got a good game today for the cards. But, uh, hey, like I said, um, first one to 30 is going to win this game, and SU just did that. So we'll see if that comes to fruition. I really think it will. I don't see Louisville scoring two more touchdowns. You know, as long as SU doesn't, you know, continue to shoot itself in the foot. Conley taking off through a wide open gap. He's got so much running room. He's finally brought down after a 28-yard gain. How in the heck did that happen? SU sent a blitz. Look at this. Six blitzers. Nobody got any kind of penetration. And uh, all the safeties and secondary members just didn't have their eyes in the backfield, I guess. And Conley takes off and picks up a huge gain to kickstart this drive. A pass on another first and ten situation. Going to the sideline, incomplete. Neil Nunn in coverage. Second and ten. Got to win this down if you're SU uh, the SU defense here. Going triple option right side. Looks like SU has it defended, and they do. Nice tackle in the open space by, I believe that was Stephon Thompson. So third and nine. Chance to get off the field and hold Louisville to a field goal. And keep it at two possessions. Going to pass to do it. SU sends the blitz. Doesn't get there. Conley going deep, and that one's in and out of the hands of an SU defender. I believe that was Eric Coley in coverage. Had a chance at the pick, but he dropped it. So now a 45-yard field goal attempt to cut the lead down to 11. And it's good. But uh, that's a win for Syracuse. 11 points uh, lead still. 3.15 to go in the third. You got a couple nice long drives here where you chew the clock, maybe even score. And you got your fourth win of the year. It's that simple. Going to start with a kick return from Taj Harris up and over the 25 and brought down to the 27. So like I said, you know, nice, uh, nice, you know, 15 play, six yard, uh, six minute drive here, resulting in either a field goal or a touchdown. That's what you want. No three and outs, no turnovers though. We're going to start with a quarterback draw for Schrader up the sideline. Absolutely love that play call. And it's a, it's a nice hitter. A quick hitter, too. Gain a 15 on, you know, just like that. Snap of the finger. Um, Syracuse is 3-6 um, and six right now. So if they win, they'd be 4-6. and six. First and 10, 256 and counting down to go. Up at SU's own 43-yard line. Brought Jackson in motion. They don't throw to him. Schrader instead going to go up the far sideline. And the grab is made by Damian Alford again. Breaks two tackles, and he's inside Louisville territory with a nice reception there, and Schrader's up and over 200 passing yards for the day. Yeah, no, if they win, they'll be 4-6, uh, four, four and six, chance to still go 6-6. Six and six. That NC State game is going to be an uphill battle. A uh, very talented Wolfpack squad, um, and Pitt's very good as well. So, you know, of, of the last three games, this one's certainly the most winnable. They should win this game. It looks like they will. Uh, pitch out to Tucker, no gain. But still, it's an ACC win, and um, it's a game you should win, and they, and they did that. So it's a good win for Dino. Not going to save his job, but it's a good win. This is probably the worst Louisville team that there has been, and you know, under Scott Satterfield at least, aside from maybe his first season. They've really gone like this in the past couple of years, you know. And last year's team wasn't even bad. They just lost so many games by one, two possessions. Um, but this year's team, they lose all that talent. They won't be as good, especially not without Cunningham. A uh, handoff for Adams, stiff arms, a tackle, and gets the first down. So inside the 30-yard line is the SU offense. It's what I was talking about. Nice, long drive and score. No turnovers here. Speed option left side. Nice decision by Schrader to keep it. Looks like he'll be rewarded with four yards. Keep that clock moving. That makes it second and six. From the 23-yard line. Second down. All right, two back set. Under a buck 30 to go in the third. Triple option right side. Schrader pitches it to Abdul Adams. Has running room off the right edge. And he's inside the 10-yard line with a pickup of 15 yards. Simple game of chess there.
How about Abdul Adams, though, coming off the bench today? He's This is the best he's looked all season. Already has a touchdown run. I expect Syracuse to roll Abdul Adams, Sean Tucker, Jarvion Howard, and Cooper Lutz. Here's Jarvion Howard. Speaking of the devil, picks up two up the middle. Um, you know, I think the offense is going to be dictated by the run game this year. And as, it's as it should be. Not to say the passing won't be good, too. SU has plenty of options in the aerial attack, as we're seeing today. But uh, it starts with the ground game, I think, in, in Tucker. Uh, Schrader throwing over the middle. Catch made in the end zone. Ronde Gadsden, the true freshman wide receiver, had the game-winning catch against Wake Forest earlier this season on the receiving end. And that should be the dagger. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Oh, gets the ball. Brought down around the 25-yard line. Oh, it's All right, let's close up shop here, SU. 30 seconds to go in the third, 18-point lead. That was an impressive drive, you know. Exactly what you wanted to see happen, happen there. Conley going to take off, runs right into the blitz, and Marlow wax. Gain of one, third and nine. <sighs> Probably the last play of the third quarter right here, and SU could end it with a chance to get off the field. And go into the fourth quarter with the ball. Conley rolling out of the pocket. Throws underneath. That's going to be nowhere near the line. Oh, my God. How did he get a first down out of that? That is utterly ridiculous. Dude makes the catch three yards behind the line of scrimmage. Runs through two tacklers and gets the first down out of that. That is terrible from Syracuse. That's terrible. But 38-20 lead. End of the third quarter. Going into the fourth here. Doing what they should be doing, especially against uh, you know shorthanded Louisville team here. Got to close it up though. Can't be you know having those brain lapses like we just saw. Conley throwing near side, catch made, and there's a nice tackle by Stephon Thompson and Adrian Cole. Yeah, so Louisville looked good with McCaffrey in there, but he's not even on the team anymore. So you know Conley's come in. Hasn't really been that guy. He fumbles right there, and it's picked up by the lineman. Second time that Louisville has fumbled, and it's been picked up by a lineman. That could have been disastrous. But uh, Josh Black with his second sack of the game against the forced fumble as well. Conley's just not that guy. All right, third and 13, three down linemen. SU looking like they're just going to drop into a zone. That's what they do. Conley checks it down, just make the tackle. Yeah, baby, Marlowe Wax with the beautiful open space tackle. Brings up fourth down, and SU can put the game away. Oh, Louisville's going to keep the offense on the field. Hold the phone just a minute. Fourth and nine, nine minutes to go from its own 37. I guess you may as well roll the dice. They're going to pass over the middle, and it's incomplete. Had a receiver there. But Conley's off with the throw, and that's a turnover on downs. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create... So SU brings the starting offense back on the field. Any points here puts it away for sure. Could see the backups in. Trader going to tuck it and run on first down, and it looks like he'll lose two against that blitz. All right, though, keep that clock moving. I'm not too, you know... I don't I hate it, but not as much in this situation. If you're just joining, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out all the previous streams we've done on this channel. We got two more after this one. Unless SU makes a bowl game, then it's three. Uh, Schrader play action. Oh gosh, almost threw a pick right there. Literally uh, gifted it to that guy. He dropped it. Third and twelve. I don't like that because that stops the clock. Probably just go screen here, something safe. 
Nope, draw. That's also safe. Tucker going to run, and he may have just gotten into field goal range with that burst. Picks up six, and he got inside the 40, I believe, maybe even the 35. Yeah, he did get inside the 35. So a 50-yarder for Schmidt should be routine for him. We've seen him hit this time and time again this season. One for one today from 23. Make it two for two from 50. Yes, sir. teammates and that's partially what's happened we're about set to start things up again it's on the ground it's recovered <laughs> a fumble how'd that happen third fumble today with well, this time Syracuse gets it back Mikel Jones with the recovery I wasn't even looking Kingsley Jonathan off the edge with the sack, forces the fumble. Jones with the recovery. It's getting ugly in Louisville. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Well, all right, how about that? Second cause turnover of the game. And can it result in points? Going to start with a handoff for Sean Tucker, avoids a tackler. Not the next one, though. No gain there. Schrader, speed option, pitches it for Tucker, and he's brought down by the safety. Picks up two, though. Third and goal from the five. This is really giving me serious uh, deja vu to that Duke game in 2019. You know, SU comes out and blows them out, but, you know, ends up not meeting anything because they finish five and seven. But still a good effort, you know. Just really reminding me of that right now. Uh, Schrader looking, steps up on the pocket, and he's sacked. So Louisville... Gets a stop in the red zone. I see will just settle for a, you know, measly three points here. Still pushed it to a 24-point game, though, so still counts. Still a little bit meaningful. And Schmidt nails it again. All right, comment uh, in the uh, comment section if you guys want me to put Jacoby and Morgan in for uh, the last drive. Or Justin Lamson, even, for that matter. <sighs> yes, all right, we got a yes from Peter, so we'll put Jacoby and Morgan in for the next drive. Unless Louisville scores, then we'll keep Schrader in the ball game. See if that happens. Conley throws again. This one incomplete. Chestnut in coverage. Man, I took a shower before we started this stream, and I'm drenched in sweat here because I turned all my fans off. Might need to take a, another one. Ugh, it's a struggle out here. If you guys live in CNY or, you know, half before, you know what I'm talking about. In the fall, you know. All right, third and five. Louisville going uh, tight end, three wide receivers. Looks like they're trying to set up a screen, and he throws it in. Thompson in and out of his hands twice for the pick. But it falls incomplete. Fourth and five should keep the offense on. Yep. Louisville's 0 for 3 on fourth down conversions today. See if it becomes 0 for 4. Going to pass again, SU bringing a blitz, throw underneath, catch made, but nowhere near the first down marker is Tyler Harrell, and that's another turnover on downs, um, and yeah, we'll, let, um, we'll let Schrader have one more drive here. I promise I'll put Jacoby in for the next one. Going to tuck it and run here, and eventually get one. 
Just don't get hurt. Don't make me look like a fool for doing this. I just want to see him put the game away with a nice score, you know, touchdown drive right here. In plus territory. From the 42 yard line. All right, play action fake on second and nine. Schrader winds up, throws, catch made. Taj Harris, first time we're calling his name today. It's the second catch of the game, though. Has a chance to pass Marvin Harrison on the Syracuse receiving record book list for a couple different statistics this season. Get his first opportunity against Ohio on September 4th, which is um, just a couple days away, nine days away, something like that. Quarterback draw for Schrader, spins out of a tackle, gets two yards. And off Tucker, yeah, not much there. Uh, I'll give Louisville's linebackers credit, you know, they played very well. I expect C.J. Avery to, you know, be all over the field. He's their star linebacker, talk to him in media days. Haven't seen much from him, but the other linebackers have looked good. He passes, yeah. it. Pass it here. That was dangerous. That one should have been picked off by that safety. Schrader's gotten a little lucky today in a few situations. That was another one. But Schmidt back in the game for a 45-yarder. Three for three today. And make it four for four. Bang, bang. 47-20. All right, I'll let Jacoby and Morgan get the next drive for Syracuse if he does get one. What's the scoring run? I think it's, um, I think it was 24-20 at one point, or 24-17. Um, I know it was 31-20. So it's a 16-0 run for now. That might be even bigger, but 27-point lead. I know, I, you know, I picked Syracuse to win this game. I don't think it's going to be by this much, but because um, I don't think Cunningham's going to get hurt. But still, I have them winning, and they're doing that here. And, you know, for the record, I have them 4-8, and eight, so I have them losing the last two games. But they could beat Pittsburgh. It's totally possible. NC State's a bit of a stretch, in my opinion. I got them going 9-3, and three, so not losing to Syracuse. So. <sighs> Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Another pass, another catch, and Louisville's putting some together here. Conley's making a few throws. Pass again, throws again, and he has a wide open receiver, Justin Marshall. He's been really uh, the lone weapon for Louisville today in the receiving game, and he's wide open there, makes the snag, and gets a late touchdown for the cards. I think we have to leave uh, Schrader in after that one, just in case, you know. Still a game. Some crazier things happen. All right, onside kick. Just make this recovery. No dinking around. There you go. Offered on the reception. There you go. Put it away. Boy, this offense has been consistent throughout this entire football game. The quarterback's doing a good job of leading this team. How about the offensive line, the job that they've done? Just a great team effort to allow this offense to have a spectacular performance. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. <sighs> Schrader starting with a draw. Nice gain up the middle. Picks up 12. Just burn out the rest of this clock. End this thing. Move on to the next one. Start prepping up for NC State. You guys came out played well today. 
Take your dub. Get back to Q's. Get ready for the next one. No messing around here in the last few minutes. All right, keep the clock moving. In terms of the next stream, I uh, got a pretty packed schedule the uh, latter portion of this week, especially the weekend. Um, so we're probably looking at, or, oh, nice screen pass here, Tucker. Plenty of room down the sideline, all the way down to the 10. Probably looking at doing the last two or three streams um, early next week. Uh, Monday night, Tuesday night, one of those. We'll get them in before the season starts, I assure you that. Uh, just, you know, be sure to follow at Orange Fizz on Twitter. And uh, if you're in any of the Facebook groups, Syracuse Football, Syracuse Orange Empire, um, Syracuse Water Cooler, I'll be posting the announcements in there as well. So you can find all the news there. Also on my personal Twitter account, at John underscore Eads 3, same way you see it spelled in my profile. Uh, it's also in the bio. So All the stuff I just said is in the bio. All the links and usernames and whatnot. So just look in there, quick and easy. All right, three and a half to go. Second and seven, two back set. Trader fakes, triple option. Should walk in easily for the score, and he does. Exclamation point for SU. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he adds the extra point. Syracuse is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Not sure that touchdown and their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. All right, close it up here. Let's go. Kenton Arku with the tackle. Nice job. Kenton Arku again, back-to-back. -back. Nice plays. You know, the defense has been good today, but you don't like to see them give up, uh, you know, what, 20 points to a uh, third-string quarterback leading the offense. Um, in, in real life, if Cunningham goes down, you know, you bet your bottom dollar they're going to be stacking the box, blitzing, forcing him to make throws and beat you that way. They didn't really do that virtually. They don't really do that, though. You know, they the game, it, it's a video game. They don't understand schematics, you know, very much, so. If they did, they wouldn't put Tucker in the backfield for a Wildcat in first and 10 for the 20. You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. Make a tackle. This game just refuses to end. Oh. Only keeping it again on a read option. More running room. Man, make the tackle. Golly. These last, what, eight minutes of, of game action, it felt like an hour. Game was over, uh, you know, at halftime. Marshawn Ford really didn't do much today either, that tight end I was talking about. That, that's a pick. Amon Greenwood just voluntarily... 
touched. Yeah, he could have easily just caught that. It would have been a pick. Oh, what are you doing, bud? All right, second and ten from the SU thirteen. Handoff to Berkeley or Cooley, one of those two. Berkeley. Okay, cut down after a four-yard gain. Third and six. Definitely four down territory here. They're still trying to put points on the board. And they're going to run here to do so, but no running room for Travion Cooley. Actually loses a yard. Mikel Jones, the middle linebacker, flashes, makes the tackle. So fourth and seven. Louisville 0 for four today. See if they can pick one up here. And a pass. Throw over the middle to the running back, and he's cut down by Jeff Cantonarku. One yard short of the line of gain, and that'll do it. A strong finish for Jeff Cantonarku. And should just see a healthy dose of run here. Adams up the middle, picks up 10. I'm not sure what the deal is with Sean Tucker. We've seen a lot of Adams today. I don't know if he's tired or injured or what the deal is. Hopefully he's okay. I haven't seen anything about an injury, so... I'm going to check right now, actually, before the game ends, since I can. Because if you got injured for multiple weeks, that means he's out for the next game. So here's Adams, though, picks up the first down. Just check real quick here. Nope. All right, he's not injured, so I don't know what the deal is. Maybe he's just tired, or they want to get Adams some carries here in the garbage time. I, you know, I'm with that. And that'll do it. 54 to 27, the final score from Louisville, Kentucky. SU keeps its postseason hopes alive with a win, moves to four and six in the year, two and four in the ACC, and looked very impressive in the process. Garrett Schrader, player of the game. You see his stat line right there. Best he's looked all season, arguably. We'll go over the postgame stats in a minute, but SU stays alive, four and six with NC State and Pitt still to go. On the schedule, dominating fashion from start to finish from Dino Babers and company. 54 to 27, the Orange Triumph over the cards. All right, take a look at the post-game stats here. So the scoring summary, SU outscores Louisville 30-17 to in the second half, 24-10 in the first. Garrett Schrader, the only quarterback that saw time today, 21 for 26, 254 yards and a touchdown, 80% completion percentage, sacked six times. But you know what? The offensive line did really good today. Uh, most of those sacks were his fault, I would argue, but um, pass protection didn't really play that big, much of a factor. wasn't really a detriment to Syracuse today, and that's that's great. Uh, Sean Tucker, 24 carries, 56 yards today. Had two touchdowns, though, so he looked good. 17 after contact. Garrett Schrader, 18 for 76, and a touchdown. And that's not sack adjusted. He probably is over 100. Abdul Adams, eight touches for 56 yards and a touchdown. I liked what he brought off the bench today. Receiving-wise, really spread out today. Jackson, the leader, 5 for 78. Queeley had 4 for 55. Alford, 3 for 39. Tucker, 4 for 33. Williams, 2 for 26. Uh, Harris, 2 for 17. And Gaston, just 1 for 6, but a touchdown. The lone receiving touchdown today. Defensively, Adrian Cole leads the way with 14 tackles. How about that? Uh, Marlo Wax, second with 7. Stephon Thompson, Mikel Jones tied for third with 6 apiece. A lot of TFLs today to go around. You see them right here. Too many to mention, really. 
And then sacks. Marlowe Wax had one. Jonathan gets one. And a forced fumble, I believe, or a fumble recovery. No, he had a forced fumble. Uh, Cody Roscoe had a sack. McKell McKinley Williams had a sack. And Josh Black had a pair as well. Chase Atkinson, the lone pick today, but took it back for a pick six. A lot of deflections. You see him right there. Coley Thompson Carter, Cole Greenwood. Two forced fumbles, one from Black, one from Jonathan. And, of course, Jonathan's was recovered by Mikel Jones. And like I said before, Chase Atkinson, the defensive touchdown today for SU. Kicking-wise, Schmidt, 4 for 4, long of 50. He looked great. Also, 215 punting. That's that for individual statistics. Uh, team stats right here, 26 to 24 first downs. Total offense, pretty competitive. Louisville actually outgained SU. Uh, but, you know, who cares when you when you win the game by, uh, you know, 30 points. So, move myself up to the top here. Before you guys go, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one, too, if you're dipping here. Uh, passing yards there, SU 7 for 15 on third downs. Louisville 0 for 5 on fourth down conversions. Uh, 7 for 7 in the red zone for SU, 5 touchdowns, 2 field goals, 1 turnover, and 1 time of possession. So, top to bottom, an impressive performance from Syracuse. And uh, the Orange pick up their fourth win of the season, move to 4-6, and six, and keep, uh, keep a potential bowl game on the table. Going to have to go through a very good NC State team and then a very good Pitt team to complete the job. But, you know, you, you completed step one here by winning this game and getting your fourth win of the year because you can't get to 5-6 and six until you get to 4. And that'll end the stream. I appreciate you all tuning in tonight here on this Wednesday night for uh, the 10th edition of Simulation Syracuse, simulating the 2021 Orange football season. It's really coming up here in the next 9, 10 days. We got two games to go, maybe three. Like I said, we're going to get them all in before the season starts, and I'll pick up with these probably looking at either Sunday night or early next week. Keep it locked to the socials in the bio. You guys will uh, have first word of when the next stream will be. But thanks again for tuning in tonight. Really appreciate it. Be sure to like the video on your way out. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.